Hello everyone, welcome back to the fabrication shop. Today we're going to make our last sub-assembly, which will be the shock cord mount, for the Olympus payload model rocket. Now to get ready for this, we've already went ahead and made a photocopy of the first page of the instruction sheet, which has the shock cord mount on it. This way we don't mess up our instruction sheet. When you get the kit, the kit comes with a very long quarter inch wide rubber band. Okay? We're not going to use this. Instead, we're going to use six millimeter wide elastic strap. This strap you can get in the fabric section of big box stores, any place where they sell sewing products. And of course, we're going to need our glue and we're also going to need scissors to cut out the shock cord mount. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so for our first step, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just simply cut the shock cord mount off the paper. I'm using a pair of scissors, you can use a knife if you want to. Doesn't matter. So here we have our shock cord mat. You'll see it's divided into three sections. We have dotted lines. We want to fold along the dotted line. So that is our shock cord mount ready to be used. Instead of the rubber band, we're going to be using the six millimeter elastic band. General rule of thumb is you want your shock cord to be about two times the length of your rocket. The Olympus is just a little over 29 inches long, okay, which comes out to 30 inches rounded up, which would be 60 inches overall which is five feet. So what we've done is we've cut out our shock cord to be five foot long. So now with that, we're ready to go ahead and start gluing our shock cord mount. So we'll put a little bit of glue on. this little area right here. You don't have to put this on real thick because when we fold over the shock cord mount, it's going to go ahead and squeeze a lot of the glue out. So what I do is I put it in and you'll notice that I put it in at an angle. And then we bring part one over and cover part two. And again, like we said, you want to push this down and you're going to get some of the glue seeping out. Hopefully you can see this on camera. You can see the outline of the shock cord on the shock cord mount. So for our next step, we'll go ahead 
and apply glue to this part of the mount. Same as we did before. And now when we fold it over, we're going to do it so that our shock cord comes out towards the middle of the mount. Just like that. And what this does is by doing these angles, it helps lock the shock cord mount in there. Okay, you can put it in a straight line, but that will help it ease over time. It will ease its way out of the mount. By using these little angles here, it helps lock the mount into place. It's a lot harder for it to just work its way out on its own. The last thing you want to do is you want to curl this a little bit. Remember, this is going inside the body tube. So when it dries, you don't want it dry and flat. That's going to make it a lot harder to glue it and keep it laying down alongside the inside of the body tube. So as you can see, we got just a little bit of a curl to it, not a whole lot. Kind of trying to match the inside diameter of the tube. And what we'll do is we'll let this dry. This completes the last sub-assembly for the Olympus. In our next episode, and this was a quick one, but in our next episode, we will go ahead and start putting some of these sub-assemblies together and you'll start seeing the rocket come into shape. And with that, take care.